Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. Laravel version 8.76.0 is released and there are five new things that were added to this version. So now let's see what are the things that are added. First of all, this after refreshing database test method has been added. Let's say you have added this refresh database or lazily refresh database on your tests and you want to run something automatically after the database has been refreshed. For example, you might want to seed the data immediately after refreshing the database whenever you are testing, then it will be very, very useful in that case. And you can see here in this pull request, the example also shows the same thing. The second thing that has been added is this SOB STR replace method on the STR helper class and as well as on the stringable class. Basically, it helps us to replace something in between the string. So here in the test, you can see this example over here and I'll also show you that. So here, string sub string replace. This is the string where we want to replace something by this. This will be the offset and this will be the length that we want to replace. So in this example, at the offset 2, we want to replace this. And if we add here 0, then it will not remove anything. And you can see the result over here. So at 0, 1 and 2. So this first 0 is at the 2 index. So just in front of it, it will add this colon and then this 0 0 will be unaffected because we have added here 0 but if I just remove here 0 and refresh then everything that is after the 0 will be replaced by this but we don't want anything after this colon to be replaced so we can add 0 over here like this and you can also see here let's say 0 over here then it is added to the front if I just do 1 then it will be added to the 1 or you can say like 0 and 1. It will just add this thing starting at the position, whatever you have mentioned over here. And if you don't write 0, then every other thing will be replaced by this thing. Otherwise, it will just be added at this position. The third thing that has been added are the two methods on the HTTP client response. Those are unauthorized and forbidden. Let's say you have sent a request and that request has sent a response but they are unauthorized or forbidden or with a status code 401 or 403. Now you don't have to manually check like if response arrow status is equals to 401 and then do something. You can directly call this unauthorized method or this forbidden method. So it is just a simple yet helpful addition. The fourth thing that has been added is this invisible modifier for the MySQL columns. Whenever you are creating a migration, now you can add this arrow invisible and it basically marks this secret column as the invisible column. It means that whenever we do select all, whenever getting the data, then this data will not be automatically hydrated in the Laravel model, but we can explicitly select this column and then use it. And here in the pull request, it is mentioned that it is really useful for the columns that contains data that should only be faced if they really need it. And you can also see the whole description over here and I'll be leaving the link of all these pull requests just below that like button. And the fifth and the final thing that has been added is this fix for the password validation failure logic. So before whenever the validation failed, then we will only get the message up to this minimum character length. And if you don't know about this password validation rule, then I have made a dedicated video about it. I'll be leaving the link of that video also in the description. You can have a look into that as well. So let's say there was an error saying that minimum password length was something, but there is also some other error. Let's say there was this error as well. So at least contain a number, but, and before it would only show that the string should have minimum this much character. It would not show any of these other validation messages. Now this has been fixed and whenever other validation error occurs for the password rule, then all of them will be shown.